for 19. You you fought Cletus Seldon. And uh, after the fight, you were hospitalized uh, with brain bleeding. Mm -hmm. How serious of an injury was that? It was more serious than people knew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was actually, I was in a coma for a couple of days. You went into a coma for a couple of days. Yeah, but oh, I was in I was in the coma. And um, the fight was, what, June 7th? I went from June 7th all the way to July 8th. I'm having headaches off, on and off. As, as it got closer to July 8th, they got, they was coming faster and harder and like precise the day of, of uh, July 7th. Uh, me and my girlfriend, we was downtown, we were shopping. And um, I, I got a headache. I mean, like on this day, I got a headache like like, like, like never ever before in life. As I'm listening to this shit, cause this is my first time hearing this shit. <clears throat> I just seen the clip on Instagram, scrolling through Instagram. So I'm like, damn. Let me go to the full interview, you know what I'm saying? Because Vlad TV be dropping parts, you know what I'm saying? He don't drop it all at once. He dropped like part one all the way up to whenever he done with the interview or whatever. And um, I had just seen this shit today. And I'm like, man, I was just talking about this shit with my situation. And when I first had a brain bleed, shit sound just like this shit, bro. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. Like that, that that major headache when they found out you had a brain bleed. So I just found it interesting. I wanted to talk about it. Well, I don't want to talk about it, but I just want to try to like listen to like something experience. was in my head trying to come out. Like, I'm getting coming out. And I'm, I mean, like, on this day, like, I got a headache, like, 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 like never ever before in life. Hmm. It felt like somebody, something was in my head trying to come out. Like, I'm getting coming out. And I'm, it was on this side of my head. I was like, I was like, ah, like, what the hell is going on in my head? So we walking, I'm like, I'm like, That's I'm grabbing real, my head. Bro. <laughs> And uh, I'm like, yeah, yo, yeah. I got to go get some pain pills. I got to get something. My head is killing me. So luckily, my doctor is downtown. He's, you know, he's a neurologist. You know what I'm saying? He's a brain doctor. And um, I went to the office. I said, yo, Dr. Cohen. I said, um. See, he, he said he had his shit to the point where he had went to the doctor. They had, I had him hop on a motherfucking ambulance. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? After that shit, like, I ain't never felt no pain like that before. So, when he described that, I felt that. So, I felt the need to just mm. play this shit. I got a headache. You know, like, it's killing me. He said, 1 to 10, what it felt like? I said, 25. Like, shit, it's killing me. Like, all right, can't even stand up. He said, let's go do a cat scan. You know, let me see what's going on in your head. Then I said, you know, I'll give you some pain pills. Go downstairs, he look at my brain. He like, something wrong. We gotta have emergency brain surgery. You have brain like, surgery. What? So like, from that conversation to maybe thirty to forty-five minutes later, I'm laying on the table, get my brain opened up because a fighter took an illegal banned substance or been taking mm. banned substances for years, Cletus Seldon, and he been getting away with it. What was it? Like steroids, basically? Yeah, it was It was a band. It was a, a methamphetamine. Really? Yes. You know what I'm mm. saying? It was a... I don't care to get into it too much. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We got an ongoing situation. Oh, a lawsuit? Yeah. Okay. Know, it's bigger than a lawsuit. Bigger than a lawsuit. <laughs> oh, a criminal charge? It's, it was attempted murder, man. Attempted murder. You tried to... I mean, that's... You tried to kill me. So so they had to cut your head open? Yeah, my yeah. Oh shit! I got my, I got my, well, I got mm. my documentary being done now as we speak, and um, in my documentary you're gonna see everything. You see okay. my, my doctor speaks, man. People speaks, I speak, and people don't know like you know it's not even it's not it's not even July, it's not even been one year yet. Yeah. I, I, I have my head opened up and it's not even one year yet. People look at me like you have what? You have what? I have brain surgery. They're like, get the hell out of here. And hundred percent. So like I said, it was a very tragedy situation in my life that a lot of people didn't know about you know what i'm saying i kind of like because i, I kind of bounced right back from me and just i got right back to it like you know maybe maybe within a month of recovery back i was i was back out i was in i was in i was in brooklyn i was out but it was summertime it was summertime i'm back on the block i'm pulling up to the weed spot i'm getting weed all that they like looking at me like this motherfucker is crazy like, <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I, I guess uh, you and uh, DeGuardia had a talk. This was, uh, I guess, what was DeGuardia's role in this whole thing? Joe, Joe DeGuardia is the promoter. The promoter, okay. So, no, we ain't, we ain't. But yeah, this shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't know that. I know he took a bad L, though, that fight. You know, Zab supposed to be been retired, man. And that's what happened when you, you know what I'm saying, fighting up there in Asia that long. Like, you can get seriously hurt. Let me see what the fuck this kind of man is. Sometimes I take for granted that my wife, who is this? No, I don't know him. Until you see things like this, we both make great money. But she can't watch a lot of my fights anymore with her line of work now. Except because she was such a original junior fan years ago. Well, Earl Spence is my favorite fight at the moment. We ordered Spence versus Porter, and she went upstairs in the second round saying she can't watch them do this to each other. <laughs> they see it from an entirely different side as brain doctors. She can't watch UFC either. Mm. That shit crazy. But yeah, man, I ain't know Zab Judah went through his shit. This shit wild, man. I seen a clip on IG. I'm like, man, let me see the fuck this shit talking about. Nigga talking about brain bleed. I be like here how other people shit went. And when I had a brain bleed, it sounded just like that. Like that undescribable pain and shit. But I had to get rushed to the hospital immediately. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's that, man. I just wanted to post this.